it's now time for chain rule. Chain rule says that if we take the derivative of a function with another function inside of your function, like an onion, you take the derivative of the outer layer and you keep the inside intact, then you multiply that by the derivative of your inside. In other words, the derivative of f of stuff is f prime of stuff, keeping the stuff intact, times the derivative of the stuff. One other way to write this is in terms of fraction notation. dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to the derivative of y with respect to your stuff, stuff inside, times the derivative of your stuff with respect to x. And of course, when you multiply these fractions, you realize that the du's will cancel out, and it works out very nicely. So, the best way to really learn chain rule is just to see a bunch of different examples. You gotta feel chain rule. So here we have the derivative of tan x squared. My outer function is tangent, and my stuff here is x squared. And what chain rule says is it says, if you want to take the derivative of a function of stuff, you take the derivative of your outer function, which is secant squared, you keep the stuff inside, and then you multiply it by the derivative of your stuff. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. So, when you do this in your head, think this tangent of stuff. The derivative of tan stuff is secant squared stuff times the derivative of your stuff. Let's try another one. Here we have the derivative of e to the stuff. My tan x is the stuff here. And we know from the derivative of e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is still just e to the x. So what's the derivative of e to the stuff? Well, the derivative of e to the stuff is still e to the stuff. But then we have to multiply this by the derivative of the stuff. And the derivative of tan x is secant squared x. e to the stuff times the derivative of your stuff. The derivative of cosine of 3x plus 1. Here, our stuff is 3x plus 1. So we have cosine of stuff. The derivative of cosine of stuff is negative sine of stuff, with all the stuff still intact, times the derivative of the stuff. And the derivative of 3x plus 1 is just 3. So this derivative is negative 3 sine of 3x plus 1. Here's another one. The derivative of the square root of x squared minus 4. Well here, our stuff is inside the square root. And of course we can rewrite this square root as an exponent so that we can use power rule. It'll also help us realize what our stuff is. So here we have x squared minus 4 to the 1 half power. We're taking the derivative of stuff to the 1 half. And here we have to use our power rule to take the derivative. The derivative of stuff to the 1 half is 1 half stuff to the negative 1 half. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of the stuff. And the derivative of x squared minus 4 is just 2x. Well, 1 half times 2, that cancels out. The x stays on top. And on the denominator, we have the square root of x squared minus 4.